everyone, professional photographer Ian Plant here. And Adobe has just released an AI-powered noise reduction tool that you can find in Lightroom or Camera Raw. And previously, if you wanted this sort of advanced noise reduction, you had to exit Lightroom and use a plugin or a third-party program. But no longer, now you can stay within Lightroom or Camera Raw and do advanced noise reduction. But the real question is, how well does this new Adobe Denoise tool work? Well, if you want to find out, stay tuned. So I've got one image pulled up already in Adobe Camera Raw. I think most of you are probably using Adobe Lightroom. Camera Raw and Lightroom, when it comes to image processing, are virtually identical. Some of the interface may look a little bit different, but the tools are all the same. And this is a photo I made several years back in Africa of a male lion. And you can see that this was shot at ISO 8000. So it's a pretty high ISO. I expect there to be a lot of noise. And as we zoom into 100%, you can see some noise. A lot of the noise is obscured by the detail in the lion, but you can definitely see the noise in the eyes. And if we look in an area without a lot of detail, you can see the noise a lot better. So let's go ahead into the detail module and activate Adobe's new AI powered noise reduction, denoise. And it might take a few minutes for it to complete its operation, but you can see now that the amount of noise has gone down considerably. So if I hold on this, you can see the noise in the original and here it is with the noise reduction applied. Now we're looking at a view that is more than 100%. I still see a little bit of noise, we can increase the denoise amount above the default and completely eliminate that noise. And if I move this display over to an area where the lion's head is, we can see what that denoise is doing to the detail of the lion. Let me just put this over the eye of the lion. And so it looks like this is a little bit blurry, but as I mentioned before, this window is showing more than 100% view. So I'm going to go ahead and click enhance. And what is going to happen now? is you can see that there is a task down here that is in the process of being completed. Adobe is going to create a new DNG raw file with this noise reduction applied. Not entirely sure why it does that. You can always go back and edit the original raw file if you don't like the way that the file looks with the denoise applied, but just be aware that that is gonna happen. You're gonna have a new separate raw file with the noise reduction applied. So once that is ready, you can do any final edits on that file. And it may take a few minutes for that processing to complete. And when it's ready, we're gonna take a look and see how good this noise reduction did. Okay, now we are looking at the image that has had the denoise applied. And let me zoom in to 100%. And you can see that the noise is gone. We've lost some apparent sharpness in the lion as a result of the aggressive denoise, but overall, the image still looks really good. We can easily sharpen this up and let's take a look at one of these areas where there's not a lot of detail. You can see that we've completely eliminated the noise. So overall, I think that Adobe Denoise has done a fantastic job. We have eliminated most or all of the noise, and we've done so with a minimal loss of image quality. Let's take another look. This is a photo I took inside of a sandstone cave along the south shore of Lake Superior, and I'm going to go ahead and bring the exposure all the way up to the maximum amount. So in the original file, there was very little detail in the shadow areas that you could see. And now I've revealed that detail, but you can see that we've picked up a lot of noise as a result. So let's see how denoise does on this file. So we'll go into detail and we'll hit noise reduction. Now I'm going to click enhance. Okay, now that that is done, let us take a look at 100% and see how the noise reduction did. Once again, it's done a pretty good job. There is a little bit of smearing in some of these areas where the most aggressive noise reduction was applied. But once again, I think running this through sharpening will sharpen it up and it'll look really good even in a big print. And in areas where there was less noise and more detail to begin with, this looks really good. I think this looks acceptably sharp. Okay, let's look at something that might be a little bit more challenging. This is a starscape scene that I took in Africa several years back, and I have brightened this so that you can see the Milky Way 
and the stars in the sky better. And as a result, we've got a lot of noise. So this is going to be challenging, I think, because we've got digital noise, plus we've got all of these little specks that are the stars in the sky. So hopefully denoise will get rid of the digital noise and not get rid of the stars. So this is a real test because denoise has got to be able to differentiate between the digital noise and the stars. So let's give it a try. Okay, now that it's done, let's just go ahead and click Enhance, and then we can take a look at the final output file and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the moment of truth. We've got the file with the noise reduction applied. Let's zoom into 100% on the Milky Way. And that actually looks pretty good. So the stars look a little bit blurry, but that was because I was running a 30 second exposure. So there's a little bit of star movement. And as a result, they don't look like complete points of light. Instead, there's a little bit of streaking going on. But the noise has been virtually eliminated and the file still looks nice and sharp. Let's take a look here at the tree. And it looks like it's done a pretty good job of getting rid of the noise in the tree without losing much detail. There does seem to be a little bit of weird colors here in the tree, though I think that might have been a function of a little bit of motion blur during the 30 second exposure. So it might have been that some of the branches were blowing in the breeze and that caused a little bit of ghosting in the image. But overall, I think this looks really good. This is a much cleaner file. And this, as I said earlier, was a challenging test for the denoise operation because the program had to differentiate between the digital noise and the star points of light in the sky. Okay, so this final image is gonna be a real test of this new denoise tool. First of all, I shot this at ISO 20,000. This is a night shot, very dark, and so I pushed the ISO as much as I could. Second of all, the resulting image in the sky was very dark. So I did some aggressive processing to reveal the sky behind the tree. And you can see already, even at the normal view, that there's a lot of noise that is the result of the high ISO and the aggressive processing. So let's zoom in and you can definitely see all of that noise. So this is gonna be a real challenge for the denoise tool. Let's check it out and see how it does. And this time I am gonna be aggressive with denoise. I'm gonna push it up to 100% and we'll see what happens. So I'll click on enhance and we'll let Adobe do its magic. Okay, here is the moment of truth. First, let's take a closer look at the cheetahs. They have been denoised. They still have a lot of detail in them. They look great. Let's take a closer look at the sky. Yep, we've definitely got rid of that noise. And you can see that there was a lot of noise in the tree and most of it has been eliminated. We do have a few weird edge artifacts, a little bit of fringing around parts of the tree, some smearing of some of the branches. That's where the most aggressive noise reduction was applied. And certainly I could go back and fine tune this. I can scale back on the amount of noise reduction, but frankly, I'm very impressed with how well this new denoise tool eliminated the noise in this very noisy image. I think it's fair to characterize this image as a worst case scenario with that 20,000 ISO and with that aggressive processing to brighten the sky behind the tree. And overall, I think it's done a very impressive job. And certainly with the other images where there was a lot less noise, I think that the Adobe Denoise tool did an amazing job. So I think if anything, this final image shows that there are some limits to what it can do, but you need a file that's very noisy to really push those limits. In fact, before applying the denoise, I would have characterized this image file as being completely unusable. But now with this new denoise tool, I feel like there is a path forward. If I'm a little bit more careful with the processing, I think I could make this look a lot better and transform this from a completely useless file into something that could be potentially useful. So I think it's clear that Adobe's new denoise AI powered noise reduction tool is really easy to use. And it does a remarkably good job. In the past, if you wanted to do that sort of noise reduction, you had to exit Lightroom or Camera Raw and move into a third party software program. But now you can do that while you're processing your photos in Lightroom or Camera Raw. And it does a really good job. 
Honestly, I think it does a good enough job that you don't need to exit Lightroom and use a plugin to do your advanced noise reduction. I was really impressed with how good this tool works. So I'm very happy with it, and I think you will be as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'm Ian Plant, wishing you good luck and great light. See you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.